Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, or SIDS for short, is the unexpected death of a baby under the age of one year. In the United States, it's the leading cause of infant mortality between the ages one month and one year. While the exact cause is unclear, the majority of SIDS cases are associated with sleep, which is why it's sometimes referred to as crib death. Diagnosis is by exclusion of other causes, after a thorough autopsy or detailed death scene investigation. Now the factors associated with an increased risk for SIDS can be divided into two categories, maternal factors and infant or environmental factors. So let's start with the maternal factors. Some of the factors that have been studied and showed an association with SIDS include young maternal age, smoking, drinking, or using drugs during pregnancy or after, and having late or no prenatal care. On the other hand, infant or environmental factors that increase the risk of SIDS include being born prematurely or with a low birth weight, infants sleeping on their bellies, sleeping on a soft surface or with bedding accessories such as loose blankets and pillows, sleeping in the same bed as the parents, or having a previous family history of SIDS. With that being said, here's a few things to do to minimize the risk of SIDS. Making sure the infant sleeps on a somewhat firm sleep surface. Avoid placing pillows, stuffed toys, or other soft objects in the crib. Avoid using loose bedding or excessive clothing. And make sure the infant be placed on their backs for every sleep. Unfortunately, there's no test that can tell if SIDS is going to happen. If your family's been affected by SIDS, your doctor or nurse can direct you to sources of assistance and support. And with that, we hope you have a better grasp of SIDS. We wish you and your families good health. Until next time.